rained out right now. You know who ain't getting rained out is uh Tyler Perry. Okay, I, I, I mean, I'm it's a bad segue, but I'm just saying he ain't getting rained out that big ass house of his. Now I'm gonna show you. They sent me this. Hold on, let me let me find it. Tyler Perry's 100 million estate. Uh, they sent me this in my email the other day. Tyler Perry's humble beginnings, riches, and 100 million dollar estate. They just did an article on him at um in the Lux List Atlanta. Now, nah. shout out to the real estate uh insider. He be reporting on housing. I'm sure he probably already reported on Tyler Perry's. But look at this. Tyler's Perry's mansion looks like um Buffingham Palace. Okay, look at wait, I want to show the picture. Where the picture at? Hold on. His house looks like Buckingham Palace. Look at this. I bet you it ain't right. I bet you it ain't flooding over there. Okay. I bet you it's not flooding in this massive mansion over there. You talk about wealth. Look, he got the little TPs over there. T Tyler Perry. They go that. Look at that. Look at that house. Got the little the pool back there. Now he need a bigger pool for that big ass house. But these are the grounds, honey. These look at the grounds. Look. This is where Tyler lives. <laughs> Tyler Perry, yeah, that's that Tyler Perry, BET Tyler Perry, who was trying to buy BET and didn't, you know, didn't go through all of that. This is him. Tyler Perry owns the world right now. I don't think Oprah House looked like this. Look at this. This is uh, this is great. We don't know what the inside looked like, but they showed us. Look at the look at the pool. Is that Versace in the pool? I don't know, but that's the pool. So they got look. They got the grounds. Look, it looked like I don't know. It's just big. Oh, they zoomed in. Okay. All right. That is nice. That is Look how far you got to go to get there. He in the middle of the woods somewhere. Isn't it in Douglasville somewhere? I don't know, but it's way, it's somewhere on the, in the outskirts. It's not Atlanta, but it's Atlanta. But this is amazing. So uh, for those of you who think Tyler Perry is struggling, <laughs> you better think again. <laughs> Tyler Perry, yes, that's a lot of work. He got a lot of people, he's keeping a lot of people employed, okay? The house staff alone, I don't know. You said half the house is yours. <laughs> you can have it. I don't want a house. I don't even want half that house. That is too much. Not Tyler got a plantation. Exactly. It's like a royal palace. I mean, I guess he's the king of, of all of um media i guess he's the king child tyler perry has been making money off these plays and getting rich off of black women exactly miss kitty cat queenie he has gotten all of the money now speaking of all the money shout out to uh quasia okay quasia been a member for 25 months but uh speaking of tyler perry tyler perry has been making the rounds because he is doing new interviews telling the women that y'all need to start dating broke men and i don't understand why tyler perry is telling us who to date because tyler perry ain't thinking about us <laughs> he ain't thinking about us broke women i'm just saying why Tyler, Tyler ain't think about us regular women. And in the clip that you can see on um Instagram, let me find it, honey. Let me find it. Let me find it. Uh Tyler Perry sat down with one of his uh sister's co-hosts. Or wait a minute. Sister Stars. What is her name? Crystal. He actually sat down with her and her um in her podcast, Love Crystal Renee. Here it is right here. He sat down with her in her Keep It Positive Sweetie podcast. And he, you know, gave a little insight on, you know, women, men, dating situations. And listen to what he said. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull this clip up. And y'all know copyright disclaimer on Section 107 of the Copyright Act. Allowances made for fair use, such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Okay. What are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? All right, y'all go. Okay, shout out to Kitty Cat Queen. They've been a member for 44 months. Yes, okay. Shout out to everybody. Look, my mom, it's in C. Patterson, Princess State, G. Jazzville, Sai, uh, 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 it's, uh, 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 Shy Shy, and, um, Lord, I forgot my other mod name. Forgive me, Lord, because I'm, I'm trying to do too many things at one time. I'll remember in a minute. But hold on, hold on. Listen.
listen, we're going to listen to what Tyler Perry told y'all about dating. Mm -hmm. And I've had that too, where I was trying to pull people up to, come on, come on, this is far as we can do. We've been together all these years. We can make this happen. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. But the whole, the whole thing that I had to realize is that some people cannot survive at certain altitudes. Mm -hmm. So if you're pulling somebody up a hill who, when you get to 10,000 feet, they can't breathe, you're going to kill them. Mm -hmm. Who is Tyler Perry pulling up in that mansion over there? I need to know. Yeah. So it's okay to leave them there until they learn the conditioning of what it takes to be at 10,000 feet. What? What's the other one? I don't want to get the one where he told us to date the broke man. Hold on. Let me get that. Hold on. Let me get the other one. When he told us to date the break, broke man, I need to find it. So that one, he didn't say it on that one. Oh, he said it on this one. Is it this one? Here it is right here. It's on the YBF. Shout out to the YBF. Shout out to the YBF. Tyler Perry says that y'all is doing too much. He says because so many women are making money these days. If a, if a man they are in a relationship is only able to afford the light bill, then they should be okay with that. That's what Tyler Perry said now. Is Tyler Perry only pay, paying the light bill? That's what I want to know. Because it don't look like uh, Tyler Perry would accept somebody in that big ass house who can only pay his light bill. I'm just saying. Hold on, let's listen. Is it on? Is it on? Hold on, I can't hear it. Oh, I didn't put it up. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I didn't put it up. My bad. Let me start over. Mm -hmm. like, Y'all can't hear that. <laughs> you know at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors what and does what he can mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift exactly that is okay mm -hmm. that's not somebody who's beneath you yeah that's somebody who came to love you at your work mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right yeah and as long as he's secure in himself to know that yep she makes most of the money all i can pay is the light bill as long as she's comfortable enough to say i'm gonna cover the mortgage and all the other stuff you can have the light bill baby you can take me to dinner every now and then mm -hmm. that is fine yeah that's fine mm -hmm. Is it fine, ladies and gentlemen? Is it fine if you, if he can only pay the light bill and you paying everything else? Is it okay, ladies? I don't know. Yeah. And, but that's so hard for a lot of people to take in because that means, no, no, no. I need somebody to, who is, <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have, the, I got to have, what you uh, keep, but don't keep, don't keep your list, baby. Yeah. God, God bless you. Hope it happens. Don't keep your list. <laughs> <laughs> but when you talk about just someone to love you and support yes. you, I, I know people who have, who whose men can't touch what they make. Mm -hmm. Is he talking about Oprah? Mm -hmm. But when you see them together, that love, that support, that, that I got you, babe, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Why is Tyler why is Tyler advocating for women to date broke men? I mean, I'm just saying he's saying either do that or be alone. Is you saying that black men ain't got nothing? Like what is the, are you saying that black men don't want the women? What is you saying? I'm just trying to figure out where is this message? Well, what is you trying to tell us? And I don't like what you're trying to tell us because basically you're telling us to settle, Tyler. And most of the time, you know, you then you do the movie, I could do bad by myself. I can do bad by myself. I can pay my own light bill, Tyler, okay? At the end of the day, like, look, uh, the penis is free. Like, we could get some penis. <laughs> we can get some penis. That's free. What we need is somebody who's going to bring home the bacon and let me cook it. We don't need nobody who's just going to come into the house and, 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 and run up the light bill, sit at, sit, at the, sit at the TV and play the PlayStation and watch football all day when we really want to watch Tyler Perry's sisters. I'm just saying, what is happening? Who are these people who is uh, pushing these agendas that women need to stay single or, or, or if they're not single, they need to um, just settle for anything? I'm not. I'm just. I understand too a little bit. I understand if he's a good man, Savannah. I understand if he treats you right. I understand if he has potential. Biggie, stop it. I understand all of that. But to, to throw in there with if he can only pay the light bill. 
we don't need we okay we need to date while you at the potential okay we need to date and then you know you ambitious and you getting somewhere then we can talk about moving in and paying light bills you ain't paying no light bill and that's all you got you ain't come no that ain't how this works i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> no savannah no no look okay but listen oprah and uh statement is different statement be writing books statement is a uh uh investor some statement be doing stuff he got a little bit of money he might not have oprah money but he didn't come into the relationship broke stop it so i don't know y'all tell me do, do y'all agree if you agree with what tyler Perry said put an eight in the chat if you feel that there's just a, a grain of truth to it, but it, it, it's just a little bit too much about this light bill situation, put a five in the chat. If you say, hell no, we won't go, put a three in the chat. Eight, five, three. <laughs> Let me see who is really about it, about it up in this chat. Okay, okay. Oh, you agree. Okay, oh, you said, oh, there, there goes some hell no, hell no, we won't go. Hell no, okay. I could do bad by myself. Hell no. I could do bad by myself. They want black women to settle so bad. Did he write that movie? Did he? Did he? Uh, did, um, uh, Janet Jackson play the lady who was married to the man who was sleeping with a man and she did, did he get caught the stuff and it was all kind of stuff going on and she left the man. She tore up all the stuff in the house. When, wasn't that Malik Yoba? I can't remember, but it's been so long. But what did like? In all his movies about stress and strife in relationships and, and women and these men cheating on them and then they get a good man and run off into the sunset. Like, why is it? Yes, for color girls. Why is it that now all of a sudden he want to change the narrative? He wants us to, make, to get us a good man who can only pay the light bill. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I guess, you know. You saying three, three, three. You said, hell no, hell no. Two different movies. <laughs> I'm mixing up the Tyler Perry movies. Okay, my bad. A good man is hard to find. One of them, child, it's all, all of the above. But all of his movies are all pretty much the same. The plays, too. <sighs> anyway, a good man can pay more than a life. But here's the thing that I was always taught, okay? If he ain't spending his money on you, he's spending his money on somebody. It don't matter how much money he got or how little money he got if he ain't spending his money on you baby girl he is spending his money on somebody and if he's with you and he's trying to get money from you he's trying to get money from you to spend that money on somebody else too because at the end of the day men who love women spend their money on the women they love i don't know who that told y'all girls different but men who love women spend money on them. I'm just letting y'all know it, it is what it is. It ain't no games to be played. It is so simple. Men are so simple. They buy you stuff. They treat you nice. They treat you at the dinner. They want to feed you all the time. They don't want to move into your house, but they want to make sure your house good. They're going to make sure your bills pay. They're going to make sure your garage door is opening. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all think y'all think I don't know, but I know. Okay, so they're gonna make sure you straight, whether you got money or not. But I'm digressing. Who is me? Who is me? I'm just single. I just been single for a long time, but I was married for a long time too. Um, anywho, he says Stebbin ain't wrote no books since 1989. That's that's okay, but I bet he makes sure Oprah's Oprah's garage door is oiled and going up and down. <laughs> He makes sure the cameras is working. He makes sure that the lights is on at Oprah's mansions. He makes sure that the that the staff is in line and they disrespect the Oprah. I bet you he do. I bet you they gotta talk the statement first. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Your daddy said it's a no, okay? But that's what a man does. Okay, for, for some reason, a lot of these men, and I'm not saying that Tyler Perry is a gay man because I don't know what his sexuality is, but a lot of these gay men will give y'all advice, women advice, and tell y'all what not to accept from a man simply because the men that want y'all, they want, and they want y'all to, like, you know, not want the men. It's just a whole, it's just crazy, so. Pay attention to the people on the internet and the advice they be giving y'all, telling y'all y'all need to go half, telling y'all y'all need to pay some bills, telling y'all all those things because 
real men don't ask you for that kind of stuff. Like straight men. Now, I don't know what the gay men be doing. The gays and the gays who date men, the men who date men, they relationship dynamics is different. So you'll have to talk to the men about what the men want. I don't know. I'm telling you men who want women and women who want men and all that stuff. Okay. So I'm digressing. I know people gonna be like, oh, you're homophobic. Nothing homophobic in that. Relationship dynamics are different. Two women dating, the dynamics are different than a man and a woman. Okay. Just like two men dating, the dynamics is different. It is what it is. That's life. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Speaking of... Oh, 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 o